First, let's start by unrolling the jib and mainsail. At the bow of the boat, undo the forestay shackle. At this stage, ask your crew to hold the mast as it could fall back. Take the jib tack and attach this to the bow fitting using the shackle provided. Then, attach the forestay to the head of the jib as shown. The jib halyard runs through the mast and appears as a blue line with an orange bobble at the bottom of the mast. Ensuring the jib is free, pull the jib up using this rope. When the jib wire appears, attach this onto the hook in the muscle box just above the foot of the mast. This can then be tensioned using the thin blue line which cleats onto the space frame as shown. Attach the jib sheet onto the jib eye using a bowline. Next, attach the rope at the end of the dangly pole to the jib by looping the line through onto the bobble as shown. The dangly pole is used offwind to keep leech tension in the jib and used downwind to assist with goose winging the jib. Now for the mainsail. Attach the main halyard onto the head of the mainsail using the shackle and feed the head of the mainsail into the mast track. The main halyard runs to the bottom of the mast and pull the black rope to raise the mainsail up. The rope will turn to wire and attach the wire loop onto the small teeth on the mast as shown. Yep. Once the sail is raised, attach the clue of the sail to the end of the boom using the shackle and outhaul line. The outhaul line feeds through and back onto the end of the boom. Then attach the tack strap and downhaul. The downhaul runs vertically up through the eye in the mainsail and then just tie a bowline around the gooseneck. Now pull both of the shroud control lines on. These are located on the centreboard case. For reference, the leeward shroud should sway lightly when sailing upwind. When conditions are suitable and you feel confident enough, the leeward shroud can also be let off downwind, allowing the boom to go further out. Make sure to apply shroud tension before jibing or heading back upwind. Attach the rudder onto the pin tools, but make sure the tiller and the extension go under the main sheet horse. Use the rope provided to attach the rudder stock to the boat as an extra precaution. 